This is pre-calc concepts or video 36D. We're going to be looking at how to do limits this time by hand. So uh, we saw that having a graph to look at is very helpful. Having your calculator to investigate behavior is very helpful, but there also is a way to do limits um, algebraically or by hand. So our goal in this first problem is going to be to evaluate the following limit. Limit as x approaches 3 of x minus 3 over x squared minus 9. All right, if we tried the direct substitution idea, I get 0 in the top, 0 in the bottom. That's one of those indeterminate answers, and it does not mean that it can't be done. It means you have to kind of come up with some algebraic tricks. So the big trick here is to rewrite this as a limit and use your factoring skills to change what the expression looks like. So the top I'm going to keep as x minus 3. And the bottom, I'm going to change to x minus 3 over x plus 3. Okay, and hopefully, 3, sorry. Um, hopefully you notice that you've got a factor that actually cancels. And so it turns out that the limit as x approaches 3 of the original expression is the same thing as the limit as x approaches 3 of 1 over x plus 3. And so the answer to that one is 1 over 6 because as x gets closer and closer to 3, the bottom gets closer and closer to 6. Okay, if you have good factoring skills, you'll be able to do these limits by hand with no problem whatsoever. All right, here's our example 2. Uh, limit as x approaches 7. Uh, you could try directly substituting in 7. Let's do that really quickly. Um, you'd get 49 minus 63 plus 14. And that turns out to be 0. And then you have 7 minus 7, which also turns out to be 0. So that 0 over 0 scenario comes up quite a bit. Um, what you just have to remember is that I've got to um, think about the limit, think about the expression in a different way, and then apply the limit. All right, so again, factoring skills are going to come in handy. Um, might take a few minutes, but you should be able to factor something like this. I'm going to get x minus 7 and x minus 2. And on the bottom, I'm going to have x minus 7. And when those cancel, the limit uh, as x approaches 7 of the original expression is the same thing as the limit as x approaches 7 of x minus 2. Now we've got something that is easy to evaluate. As x gets closer and closer and closer to the number 7, this expression is going to get closer and closer and closer to the number 5. All right, here's a you try to finish. Um, once again, think about factoring. See if you can evaluate this limit. All right, hopefully you got two sevenths. Um, again, careful factoring is important, um, but you end up with a term that cancels and a simplified version of the original function, x plus 1 over x plus 6. And when you take the limit of that, you get 2 sevenths.